All right, we were at the Farmington Museum today. Gonna go check out some of Old Town Farmington's, uh, get some leads and stuff. I got some stuff outside to show you too. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, I love this place and uh, usually it's got good exhibits. Hopefully it has something good today. All right, so they got a lot of art out and stuff, but we're gonna actually take a look at the all dressed up. They took down the photos of Farmington. Um, we'll take a look around and see what we can see. Of course, the photos can't take photos of photos because copyright and stuff, but we'll take a look. This collection is actually really interesting because it goes back to 1950, but also the donor served in World War II as a female in the Navy. It's very, very beautiful. So, 1950s There's the Taxi L. Dallas collection. Some older, older work as well. Look at that hat. It's really interesting. Overcoat. Oh, that was a really cool. Farmington High School class of 1917. That's the uh, graduation cap. It's felt. It's amazing. What's that say? I think this would be more like the wealthier dress because it's the, some of the, particularly the hat and then the, the over jacket. Heels, of course. This looks like a little bit more wealthy ever set up up here, but it doesn't really give a date to it, so. Oh wow, this one has really cool and interesting information. So, 1925 silver mesh purse. She used this when she went to what used to be called Tempe Normal and is now ASU. So she went to ASU as well as me. So you can see this. she, she used this purse in 1925 as her personal uh, storage Here bag. we got a ton of hats, it looks like. This is the Lola Furman collection. Um, a few fun facts about Lola Furman right there. And then you can see, I mean, Lola Furman. What hats? 1955, says here, black horsehair straw hat. Over here we have, doesn't know the date, but Lola Furman, uh, doesn't even have a name for it, it says. Some more stuff down here. A lot of the dates are unknown. We got the 1947 back here. I mean, some of them are just very, very strange looking. These ones are more the ones you'd see in the movies and stuff, film. 1930s, it says right here. 1955, this one. It's 1930s, 1955, and then now we have another. Uh, it says that's that's a a uh, part of the Verla Nightingale collection, but it doesn't have a date as well. See here, straw hat from 1930s. Again, kind of something you'd see. That's interesting looking one. Doesn't have a date on it. Another very interesting one. Like this one's a more like a, I don't know, like it's got the little, the netting in front. And then also these ones do not have dates as well, but beautiful collection. Let me get a look back at it all. You got a couple collections spread out up here, but that one's a leather mesh purse from 1940. And then we have a 1930s edition hat. And then of course, 1940s wedding dress. So I don't look quite like the do today, of course, but still pretty. Let's see down here, 1940s leather mesh shoes. Good quality for being from 1940. And then over here, this one's a really cool tansy collection. From the 1940s and World War One, World War One or World War Two, I'm sorry, World War Two aviator hat. So let's see if we can get a better look than we have over here. It looks like just the navy dress blues. Of course, it says right here World War Two navy dress blue from 1940. And uh, here's a better look at it all. There's another pretty large section, but it doesn't really have dates. This one looks like 1960 or something. So a little bit forward ahead. Now we're now, now we're starting to get to like 1950. 1959. Uh, it starts to get more and more. That one's kind of interesting. 1930, what is that? That's interesting. Get some really, really interesting stuff in here. Hat box. Apparently they had hat boxes for your hats. 1935, here we go. Worn by opera singer Edith Mason. So apparently this is a homemade bonnet from the 1900s, early 1900s, and apparently it was stored in the back of a truck because if somebody just died, they would, I guess they'd throw stuff in the back of a vehicle and just kind of leave it there because they had nothing else to do with it from somebody who passed away. So homemade bonnet, bonnet, not bonnet, bonnet from the early 1900s. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. I thought this was pretty interesting. It says patio hosting dress, 1972. So I think we're talking about this one, a little bit more colorful. Put the flowers on it. Pretty cool, seldom seen. Apparently there's art back here that is, is only been seen in prior, priorly in big shows, so. I'm uh, pretty honored to be back here, being able to check it out myself. This is a medicine man, it's beautiful. 